driving down 71 towards the city near the impound lot and on top of the old city dump beauty springs from the discarded. The talented team tasked with growing from trash, which seems impossible, works year round to ensure our community always has a fresh perspective. In this week's Kentuckiana Proud, meet the director of horticulture at the Waterfront Botanical Gardens. You know, in the United States, everyone wants a perfect like carpet lawn that's green. Everything is tidy, just like, you know, like their formal living room or dining room might be. But here, none of our plants are dead, of course, but you know, they're dormant in the winter, but there's still a lot of beauty, particularly in the textures and then the colors that you see. There's a subdued beauty in the winter. Changing your surroundings and changing your perspective. There's tons you can learn about plants at the Botanical Garden, even in the off season. There's tons you can learn about yourself. You know, there's all kinds of things that are happening around us. Um, and a botanical garden is a nice way to connect with the, the very land on which, you know, our life unfolds. Four years ago, Jamie Berghart came to Louisville to accept the director of horticulture position at the botanical gardens here in Louisville. The Minnesota native is humble, hardworking, and funny. So I went into um, college to get a biology degree. Everyone else was pre-med or pre-vet. And I'm like, I like plants. Part of the allure of the city for Jamie is much of what we all love about the city as well. Small but big, fast paced but slow, old but new. I love history and interesting stories and Louisville has a lot of them. And, and, and that ties in nicely with our garden and the fact that we are on top of the former Ohio Street dump, which formed on top of a historic neighborhood in the point. So if you literally dig down, you are digging into history. As we walked around the gardens, Jamie showed me all the ways the sea of darker colors can come to life, making me think differently about the gardens and encouraging a mentality of perspective in more parts of life. It's ornamental now, but you know, we'll have to wait until March when finally these buds swell and we get the white petals of the star magnolia again. So you, but it's green. You know, you have some. Yeah, I mean, right, it, it so shows yeah. that it's alive. It's just yeah. that, you know, it's, it's dormant now. It's just waiting for the right you know, photo period, the length of day and the right temperatures to break out of that dormancy. Sharing his knowledge of plants and gifting a better self understanding. During the winter months, there are no visiting hours for the Waterfront Botanical Gardens Monday through Thursday. We're going to post those weekend hours and ticket prices on our website, whjs11.com.